Washington, mina vänner. Bonsoir, mes amis. Guten Abend, meine Freunde. Good evening, friends. I stand before you tonight to talk about a scourge that has infected code bases east and west. <laughs> I refer, of course, to the dramatic overviews of the auto keyword in our code bases. So that's just for the camera. The question then becomes, why auto? And I think to answer this, we have to look at the composition of our hardworking and underpaid volunteer committee members. They were faced in the early days with a large dilemma. Many of them would spend inordinate amounts of time traveling around the globe, making presentations, trying to keep the spirit of C++ alive. And this, in my mind, leads me to one of the re probably the main reason why auto exists in the language. It enables slideware. One can look at the difficulties involved for the poor person having to write a pre-C++11 slide. And I recognize this is C++17, but trying to fit anything on a slide pre-11 was difficult. And one can understand that there is a certain allure when presented with the modern alternative. Now, of course, to be fair, the, uh, there are very great uses for the auto keywords, and there are indeed some things that you just cannot do without it. Beautiful things like naming lambdas and then renaming them. Impossible before. The tr problem is the dramatic overuse. Now, at this point, we can look at a few ways that the overuse has shown up. So, at this point, we have to look back at a um, humble, underpaid software engineer sitting in a hotel room uh, at two or two o'clock in the morning. The phone rings, and it's the uh, production group. The system has crashed, and they're refusing to start it unless we can guarantee that the crash won't happen again. So you, you do the, what you have to do and basically bring up the autodial modem and dial in and, and set up a DDB session. And we find that somebody has very nicely produced a totally excessive return value chain. So we go in and we take a look at the first line of the call and go, well, OK, this seems a, a normal line, it's not too bad, but let's see where it leads. There's something wrong with RetVal, is about all we know so far. But, oh well, yeah, what a surprise, that comes from somewhere else. Now we're digging 20 files further down the directory tree, and oh, that one doesn't do it either. Well, ah, oh, okay. That returns to you in 64. Hang on, what was the question again? <laughs> in which file? Had that been an int, it wouldn't even have been shorter than auto as a keyword. <laughs> then again, there's the whole qualifier confusion in auto. So we have a few pointers. We could declare them visibly as pointers. And it doesn't actually matter how we declare them because they're all the same deduce type. Then, of course, there's people that believe that auto actually means what's on the right-hand side. Well, maybe not. Because auto is template deduction, as I understand it. Of course, template deduction will tear off the top-level const volatile qualifiers. So you can assign to an auto from a const, and if you try to spin on a volatile, um, 
you're probably going to be spinning for quite some time. 